Hello and welcome to the Arcadia High School Class of 2021 Baccalaureate Celebration. I'm your principal, Angie Dillman. On behalf of the entire high school administration and staff, we would like to congratulate our baccalaureate speakers, Tanya Lee, Maggie Sun, and Nathan Kuo, along with all of our graduates. You have overcome many obstacles to get to this joyous occasion. We wish you all the best and can't wait to see you in person at graduation. Thank you, Ms. Dillman, for the introduction, and also thank you for your leadership through this pandemic. I would like to bring on Mr. Nathan Quo as he leads us through the flag salute. Good evening. My name is Nathan Quo, and I'm the 2020-2021 Senior Class President. Please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for joining me this evening. Maggie Sun, salutatorian, class of 2021. She will be attending Stanford in the fall, majoring in history and comp sci. Maggie's gonna speak with us about growing up in a shifting world. I grew up in a shifting world, swept between cities as my parents found their way through America. I grew up in Chicago, Beijing, and now Arcadia. I grew up watching the world around me change, the crowds of Millennium Park, my aunt in a foreign kitchen, and the Los Angeles suburb that would be my home for over a decade. I grew up believing that simple arithmetic dictated our world, our lifetimes composed of separate additive stretches, mortal things. I grew up believing that I was a separate product of every city I had been in, entering Arcadia a blank slate and perhaps leaving it as one too. But as our time in Arcadia High School comes to an end, I look back on what I've learned from change and its associations. I look back on the building blocks of my existence in this city and ours in this high school, how in the winter, the sun rose as we drove to school, and how the day darkened during the afternoons we spent on campus. How sometimes we emerged from after-school practice to purple sunsets, and how after hours, the gate to Doherty locked automatically, if you weren't careful. And I understand now that a million lifetimes can form a single one. Our high school experiences are separate but concurrent, and our time in the city is indelible immortal, and inexplicably intertwined. Each one of you is a unique patchwork of the quotidian and the extraordinary, the places you've lived, the feats you've accomplished, and the people you've done them with. And now, each one of you will carry your time in Arcadia High School with you as you scatter through the country and through the world. Your memories here, the banter, the friendships, and even the 3 a.m. breakdowns will follow you as you carve separate but concurrent contrails into your forever shifting landscape. Thank you, Class of 2021, for letting me be a part of your journey. Tanya Lee, salutatorian, Class of 2021. She'll be, uh, she's gonna attend that other school, UCLA. Sorry, USC. She'll be majoring in bioengineering, and uh, she's going to speak with us about having some lemonade. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. According to Wikipedia, clearly the most reputable source on the internet, this phrase can be loosely traced back to an obituary by Mr. Albert Hubbard in 1915. I suspect Mr. Hubbard might not have seen 2020 coming, because when life has been shooting lemons out of a cannon, there is only so much lemonade one can take before succumbing to acid overload. I think I speak for everyone when I say that this past year has been, at best, rough. New challenges faced us at every turn, but we did what we humans do best, change. We've had setbacks, but we've also had our fair share of successes. Several vaccines were developed in record time. Chloe Zhao became the first woman of color to be awarded Best Director at the Oscars. BTS's Dynamite broke six Guinness World Records. 
But more importantly, we have changed. We will leave Arcadia having learned so much. Some of it was the classes we took. Some of it was through the relationships we formed. And some of it may not seem like true learning at all. Maybe you learned that you have a burning passion for music, as I did. Maybe you learned that you have a burning hatred for history, as I did. To all my history teachers, I'm sorry. Maybe you learned that petting cute cats when you're allergic to cats isn't a good idea, as I didn't. Sometimes the pleasure is worth the pain. But we will keep changing in ways that we cannot yet dream of. Four years ago, did freshman you think you'd be the senior you that you are today? What about seven years ago, when we started middle school? What about 13 years ago, when we started kindergarten? Looking back, thinking about the past versions of myself, staring at the baby photos and home videos that make me want to curl up in a ball and die of embarrassment, I realize we're all kind of like software. Each year is an update with which we improve. There might be new bugs to be fixed or catastrophic incompatibilities, but through repeated testing and feedback, we slowly but surely become more advanced. It's insane to think that I, Tanya 18.0, who speaks to you now, was once Tanya 5.0, a shy kindergartner whose only friend was a manipulative classmate who tried to convince me to cheat with her. Benjamin Franklin said nothing is certain but death and taxes, but he forgot that ironically, change is also inevitable. While I pray we'll never go through anything as dramatic as this past year ever again, it is undeniable that we have come out of it changed. If we managed to make it out of 2020, is there anything that can keep us down? I hope not. Our world will keep changing, we will keep changing, and somehow we will keep changing our world. We're not all Einsteins or Mozarts, but I believe that each and every one of us can make an impact. As David Mitchell wrote in Cloud Atlas, what is an ocean but a multitude of drops? Let us keep changing, keep growing, keep learning. Let us keep shaping our slice of history the way we already have. After all, we're the class that spent our entire senior year learning so much virtually. We're the class ready to touch the world and let the world touch us physically. We're the class of 2021, and I raise my glass of lemonade to us all. Thank you. Hello. So let's take a little break. Let's have the Arcadia High School Choir do a rendition by Pink Zebra called Fly Away Home, directed by Mrs. Amanda Sedovich.
Nathan Quo, salutatorian, class of 2021, another Stanford-bound college student. He has decided to major in economics and political science, but today he's going to speak with us about personal experiences. Hi, I'm Nathan, and I'm really grateful for the opportunity to speak to you tonight. In a year with so much loss, struggle, and strife, I'd like to acknowledge that there's really little about one's personal experiences that outweigh that of a collective student body, a collective city, nation, and world. The pandemic laid upon each of us difficult times, its impact on certain ethnic minorities and lower income neighborhoods all the more catastrophic. Its grasp on our world still remains. Fortunate we are to be present here today, much of us protected and safe. Perhaps this is a reminder to myself, but for those of you who've lost parents, aunts and uncles, grandfathers and grandmothers, know that they are with you here today, cheering louder, prouder than you can imagine. With this time, I'd like to tell you not so much about myself, but about a few people I've come across and what they've taught me. On my first day of school in Arcadia, in Miss Young's sixth grade math classroom, where the horizontal and vertical desks met at a corner, Andre introduced himself to me. On the blacktop, after 25 mountain climbers, Kate did the same. Not minding that I was the new kid, the stranger who hadn't gone to Baldwin Stalker or Holly Avenue, they would boldly introduce me to their friends. In eighth grade, during the Pokemon craze, Justin would go pokey hunting with me every Wednesday, like an older brother of sorts. We once saw the outline of a Snorlax on that pokey radar thing, and though we ran all across the county park, swinging our phones in different directions, I'm pretty sure we didn't find it because he always waited for me to catch up to him, just as Josh and Ashley have always done at swim practice. That summer, as a childhood friend showed me around Manhattan, we met an old gray-haired man who talked to us as he ate a slice of pizza. Chiseled face, the same New York accent I had heard in movies, in classic shades, he said the sun set a lot faster on days where you didn't stop to watch it. I remember every time I struggled to understand a question on my math test, even after the solution was explained. But I also remember how each time, my classmates would flock around me when I asked for help, explaining each step and telling me how they approached each one. When I had weekly appointments for a few short months last year, Warren would wake up early on Saturdays and call me to make sure I didn't miss them. And by all worldly measures, Warren is far from being a morning person. And while we toiled through blood, sweat, and tears these past four years, working our study guides or hustling at sports practices, I often think about how our teachers did the same. Miss Grubbs staying up till three to sort SMW events. Mr. Wang leaving at five on Fridays and carrying me in pickup basketball. Miss Minster, whose chemistry problems deserve a Nobel Prize, and Miss Landis, who bikes hundreds of feet in elevation even after reading our scrappy essays. There isn't one exact thing or character trait that ties these people together, 
few of many who have come and gone, who I'm thankful for leaving their mark. Their patience, their kindness, their wisdom, I really do believe there's none like it. Just like we are all remarkably different, our impact on others and their impact on us is a constantly changing tide. 18 years later, we really are the same person that stepped into this world unknowing. Only now we've become young adults shaped by a world we grew into, a world we grew up in. In everything you do, always remember that you have the power and the privilege to be part of someone else's life. Thank you for being a part of mine. Go out and change not the world, but the world for those around you. Congrats, class of 2021. So now it's time for the Teacher of the Year. So let's have Mr. Warren Lynn come up and give us that great announcement. Hi, my name is Warren Lynn, and I'm the 2020 to 2021 Senior Class Vice President. Tonight, I'll be presenting the Class of 2021 Teacher of the Year. It was a close vote. However, your Class of 2021 Teacher of the Year is Mr. Jerry Wang. Congratulations, Mr. Wang. Additionally, I would like to thank all of the teachers for helping us get through the school year during a pandemic. All right, well, that's it. I want to thank you for tuning in and watching the stream this across your TV. I hope, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the kids did a great job. And parents, thank you for being such a support system for the school and especially the students. So now, next thing we have to end with is, of course, the alma mater. Thank you and have a good night.